Breaking news. Air Force fighter jet found. Pilots whereabouts unknown. Hello, my wonderful people. We brought you up to speed yesterday. That Nigerian fighter jets, in, you know, that went in search of these uh, people who are committing atrocity in the country got missing. My dear, they finally found the fighter jets, but you want to know what really happened. Where are the pilots? What is happening? How did the, 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 the jets we're talking about did not crash? So it's not like uh, maybe they shut it down or something. No. So, I mean, there's a lot going on and we need to open our eyes and see and ask ourselves if everything is all right. Okay. Because the, the pilots, is, they don't know their whereabouts, whether they've been captured, whether somebody gave them a landing or that say, I say land. So God, there are people, so I say land, we don't know. So we don't know exactly what is happening because, you know, these people are very, they are very crafty. And that's the word to use in their way, you know, trying to make Nigerians feel that they are working and truly, really, they, are may, they may be doing nothing. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe if this is your first time. God bless you. Breaking news. Air Force fighter jet found pilots whereabouts unknown. The missing alpha jet of the Nigerian Air Force has been found at a crash site in Aba Janin in Kaduga local government area of burn or burn state according to the punch news the location of the crash is approximately 30 kilometers outskirts of the city of meduguri however the facts of the pilots and co-pilots remain unknown as there is no reports if they ejected safely or had been captured by these insurgents fighters Recall that the Alpha jet has lost contact with radar at about 5 p.m. on Wednesday while on an interdiction mission in support of the ground troop. An intelligence source who is previewed to the ongoing investigation on the, in, on the incident has told Niger News that bad weather could have been blamed for the missing jet. In a statement on Wednesday, NAF spokesman Air Commander Edward Barquick said the plane was on routine mission in support of two troops at one of the theaters of operation in the northern part of Nigeria when it went missing. As at the time of the report of this filing, the whereabouts of the pilot has still since remained unknown and Nigerians are wondering what happened to the pilot. So that's where we are. What happened to the pilot? It's the same question everybody is asking. Where are the pilots? What happened? Where are we? What is going on? You know, yesterday when we brought you this report, a lot of people had different speculation as to what could possibly be happening. We know Nigeria, uh, Niger Lowa is a song. It's somebody that sang the song. He said, we are in Nigeria. We know ourselves so we can deceive every other person, but we can't deceive ourselves, okay? If this is true, they make it very hard to believe because there is a regime of you know um what we call secrecy a lot of things go on and there are there's hardly transparency you know i'm not saying that governments do not have uh, matters and uh, reports of uh, you know value of high value that they hardly share with others what i mean is because of the sensitive nature of it especially with regards to security but to an extent the government tried to keep the people informed of what is currently going on or what is happening my people this is what is going on and this is what is happening at the moment yes so you know uh the these people the, the the they went out to support the grand troop and before you could say jack robinson my dear ha, it has happened no the thing was gone and everybody was wondering what could have happened uh where did he enter what happened is it now a a a a, 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 a dot that cannot be found you know and uh, it's not as if the thing uh, they said the thing they saw it in a particular place it's not like it crashed like crash crash that there was an explosion and all that like the one that happened in abuja no no not like that so anyway it got missing and the pilot were about unknown so this is why people are agitating to even leave the nigerian government to leave the one nigerian thing because honestly speaking transparency 
truth is very, very difficult to come by in Nigerian government. It's honestly difficult to come by. When you think about some of the things that are going on, you are wondering, am I in the right place? You know, when you see a government that do not really care about their people, they just go about and do their own thing. And nobody asks them a single question. Nobody take cognizance of what is happening. Things are just anywhere, anyhow. People call themselves presidency and nobody asks who is the presidency. I get, I, I, I don't get it. The president was leaving the country, and guess what? Even the North is explaining, yes, why the president cannot hand over to the vice president. I don't know how that becomes a big question that you know that I mean that you have to. It, 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 it just shows the kind of heart human beings have. You have somebody who is incompetent, who's not who's not got the technical know-how of the very said matter we are talking about. Somebody who have no business being in that office, yet you make him the head of that office. How do you intend? How do you how do you expect that place to progress? One, because he's uh, on a brace of what is going on. Even with pe people that have the knowledge of it, working with him, try to suggest he will, pride will begin to set in. I am your boss. Is your boss that I am? How you are? Why you the one you're always showing yourself blah 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 and begin to intimidate people this is not how to go about things instead of them to put themselves down and learn even if you want to you know people that should have gone through the system and learn one thing or the other and see how best they can support the government they're not given opportunity to learn because the federal republic of nigeria is full of what we call nepotism people go about and they just put bring their brother he's my brother and he becomes the head of this he's my sister she become the are they competent have they got the technical know-how do they have the skill to take the very unit and that department to the next level the answer i beg your pardon is no but guess what because it's your brother he will be there and nobody have a mindset of saying how do we move this thing forward what can we do to better our society i tell you what a few years ago in the 1970s go and investigate Volkswagen was being put together in nigeria where the nigerian government was signing parts with other governments of other nations to bring about job creation development. I tell you what, if we had continued in that light and in that trend, today we will not be look, we will not be seeing our very own people, sons and daughters going out of this country, all in search of greener pastures, and some go through the most horrific way, things or method or whatever. You know, you know how many of our Nigerian people have died on the high sea. You are watching them like this, they are drowning away. I'm telling you, you are, have, you've not seen those videos where they have gone through the Sahara Desert. Do you know what it means? Do you know what is really going on? People have gone through the Sahara Desert only to get there and the condition is so harsh. These are people's children, sons and daughters. But because Nigeria, there, you know, the, the, the environment, there is no enabling environment. There is no opportunity to say, how do things get better? What should I do? There are no prospects, no opportunities. People look for greener pastures. Nice, leave us a comment. God bless you. Bye for now.